I'm going to show you how to do the command line intro exercises for the Upmax uh, Bianca computer cluster. Um, it's simple command line stuff. Uh, but first I need to log in. So um, to do that I can do SSH but I already I'm outside of SUNET so I'll be log in with for the VPN first uh, which is Cisco AmiConnect login uh, I'll need to give my password A, which is the password, for example, used for logging into the University of Uppsala network. I do the, I type this in now. The reason I log in like this is that you can see all the steps. All right, so now I'm within SUNET, thanks to the VPN, and log into Bianca. Now I need my Bianca password, and I need a two factor authentication number from upmax so those are six numbers three four two seven five nine enter and now i'm in bianca i need to type my password again my bianca password again so i do that as well and i'm inside of bianca so this takes a, a bit of time because now i get my own uh, login node so let's see what the exercises are. View the help of the command cd. So to do that, you use man for manual and cd to what you want to know the manual of. And here I see the, uh, the manual of cd. Um, with page up and page down, you navigate or arrow up, arrow down. To get out, you press control C or control X or control, control Z. So control Z with the zeta. That's how you uh, exit that. Next one, navigate to the project folder. So um, so we have our own folder. Um, this changes every year, bam, I done it. Navigate to your home folder. So the home folder is indicated with a squiggle, uh, but you can also type the, the complete path yourself, which is always slash home slash username. My username is Richel, and then you're in the home folder. Uh, this, these two things are exactly the same uh, from, our, from this point of view. Navigate to the wharf. So let's do that. So the wharf is the folder um, where you can transfer files to and from uh, with the outside world. The outside world being SUNET though. So here you have the wharf. Uh, these are all the users. So uh, my personal wharf is all the way down here. So this is my personal wharf. If I check my present working directory, you see that it contains the project name twice. Like this is the general project number, this is my username, and this is my combined name and project. This is my wharf folder. This is where I can download and upload files from within Sunet to and from Bianca. Great, create a folder in the workshop folder, right? So let's go there and uh, add your username, right? So first I'm gonna cd to it. So cd is change directory. Um, this is how it looks like now. And I'm gonna create a folder called reshell. Well, we can do that using make dir reshell. Create a file. Um, all right, so we're gonna make a file reshell.txt. So you can do that with touch reshell.txt. And um, with ls, you see all the files, so we can see Richard.txt here. So there's a folder here. I'm going to move the, well, that's the next step, probably. Copy the file, let's do that. So copy is cp Richard.txt. And with tab, if you press tab, it auto completes. And copy to Richard again.txt. Richard underscore again.txt. And now I see the file Richard.txt and Richard again.txt. Move. The copied file. All right, so let's do that. Move Richel again. I'm going to move it to the Richel folder. Um, I could also move it one folder up, but I'm going to move it in the Richel folder. So if I do ls to see what I have here, there's no Richel again anymore. But if I go into the Richel folder and I do ls, that's where the file is. There it is. Uh, we're going to delete it, sure, 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 uh, rm, remove, and if I do ls, I see it's gone, and then create an executable script called 
to run a do it, sure, sure, sure. Which upon running displays a welcome. Well, let's first create the script. Touch. Ah, so um, so sometimes you are logged like the VPN disconnects, so you have to be patient a bit. So I can't type at the moment. I just have to wait a bit until the thing uh, reconnects again. There, I'm reconnected again, and now I can touch. Uh, so touch is to create a file. Do it dot sh. Uh, this creates the file. You can also uh, edit it by uh, create and edit it in one step. So to edit a file, you use nano, for example. You can use other editors. So I'm going to use nano. So it's like a, like a, like a text editor uh, that you would expect. Except what it should do: display a welcome message and does something. All right. Um, let's take a look. So there is. A in the te well, I know this by heart. So the first thing you need to do is write the shebang. Uh, the hash bang. So that's why it's called the shebang. Uh, it needs to say hello. So let's make it say hello. And then it needs to do something. Uh, something, for example, show the first one file or show all the files in reverse order. So I do this. Uh, this is the pipe operator. I'm not going to discuss this too much, except that ls shows you the files. Those outputted files are piped to Rev. Rev is a tool to reverse text. And um, that's what it does. So they, these two programs can work together in this way. Well, to save, you can do write out, but you can also do control X. And then it says, do you want to save? You, uh, you type the Y. Um, then you can change the file name. I keep this as this. I press enter. And now I have a file called do it. I have not made it executable yet, so if I do this, do it dot sh, it will say permission denied because it's not an executable yet. To that, to do that, tumult plus x, so add executable rights to do it, and now I can run do it. Bam! I just did it. Uh, as you can see, it says hello, and all the files it shows in reversed order. So those are the exercises for a command line intro. Of course, there's more information here with it that has a bit of a slower pace. Uh, but as you can see, if you are already familiar, it's quite easy to do this. All right, good luck and have a good day. Bye.